Hello everyone, welcome to my new video on equivalent circuit. In electrical and electronics engineering, you might have always come across equivalent circuits different times. So in this video, you will be getting a detailed idea about what is an equivalent circuit and why you require an equivalent circuit and where all you can use an equivalent circuit. So equivalent circuit. An equivalent circuit is a type of electrical circuit that is simplified representation of more complex electrical circuit. An equivalent circuit can take a complex circuit with many different voltage and current sources, resistors, inductors, capacitors, etc. and have these sources combined using proper methods to make it less complex and more easily comprehended. An equivalent circuit is a great simplifying tool you can say and it lets save you time and effort analyzing a particular circuit. Taking a complex electrical circuit and replacing it with an equivalent circuit is an excellent option when trying to analyze the overall circuit. And it is important however to have a sound knowledge of the electrical circuit and you must know what can and cannot be simplified as well as how to simplify it. It is necessary to know when items such as voltage, current and resistance can be added together and when they cannot. An equivalent circuit can be very beneficial so long as the terminal properties end up being the same as the original circuit. And there are different ways by which you can simplify a circuit into a simple equivalent circuit. Two of such are the Thevenin equivalent circuit and Norton equivalent circuit. In Thevenin equivalent, a linear network containing several EMFs and resistances are reduced into a simple equivalent circuit with a voltage source in series with a equivalent resistance. Whereas in a Norton circuit, the circuit is simplified into a current source with an equivalent resistance in parallel. So this is one way. Coming to the second case, that is the equivalent circuit diagram of a device or apparatus or instrument, which can be quite helpful in the predetermination of the behavior of the device under various conditions of operation. And it is simply the circuit representation of the equations describing the performance of the device. In its most common form, an equivalent circuit is made up of passive elements such as resistors, inductors, etc. However, more complex equivalent circuits are also there. So, the equivalent circuits of a transformer and an induction motor. So, from the circuit, you can see that the transformer is represented by different resistors and inductors. And in a similar way, induction motor is represented by resistors and reactances. This is how a transformer or induction motor will be represented in a circuit while analyzing the circuit. Also there are complex circuits which are often called the macro models of the original circuit. An example of a macro model is the Boyle circuit of a 741 op amp or operational amplifier. Now this is a simple equivalent circuit of a solar cell which we use normally to do the analysis of a solar cell or a solar system. Here you are having a diode as well. Now you can also use equivalent circuit to electrically describe the models of continuous materials or biological systems in which the current does not actually flow in the defined circuit. For an example, a cell membrane can be modeled as capacitance in parallel with resistance and DC voltage source combination. Distributed reactants such as found in electrical lines or windings that do not represent actual discrete components can also be modeled using equivalent circuit. So this is all about equivalent circuits. So what is the meaning of equivalent circuit, where all it can be used and what are the different ways by which you can make equivalent circuits. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Thank you.